Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the new module for RPG Builder. It is of course coming with version 1.1 and we're talking about the species module. So species in RPG Builder can now be attached to both NPCs and races and they are pretty much a way for you to define some kind of, well, species, right? Such as, for example, beast, fire elemental, human, demons, titans, whatever you want to call them. And uh, you can do some pretty cool stuff with them, actually. So first of all, of course, you can have an icon, a name, description, etc. But that's not really the interesting part. Uh, the fun part is a bit below. Here, first of all, we have a stat section. So um, here we have we can add as many stats as we want, just like you would do with your NPCs, classes, skills, etc. You can add, you know, kind of extra stats or stats overrides. Species are the same, and in this case. The fire elemental, as you can see, I added 15 fire damage, 50 fire resistance, and I even have um, the health in this case is not changing because I add zero. So it's not doing anything, but you see that here um, for the health, because it's a vitality stat, we can have vitality actions. So what this means pretty much is that um, if an NPC or a race has the fire elemental species attached to it, and the health is reaching zero because the value is set to zero here, so equal or below zero, it will actually trigger this ability. And in this case, um, it's basically an explosion. So I think you can already have a lot of cool ideas there because um, here, for example, if we would have a fire elemental monster in the game, every time we kill it, it's going to explode and deal damage around it, right? So that's something very unique um, that was not possible before in RPG Builder, and it is now. Keep in mind, as a side note, uh, this is not only for species, I also added it for NPCs. So for example, if we go to the bear boss here, or any NPC of course, but I just want to take a boss as an example, I'm going to collapse a few of those things. Now if we go to stats and we look at health, um, here we are overriding the base health of the bear boss to 250, right? And you see that here, because once again, health is a vitality action, we have the action button here, so we can add as many things as we want. But the cool thing here is that now with 1.1, we could, for example, um, trigger a specific effect when the uh, when this NPC's health, for example, goes below, um, let's say, 25%. So equal or below 25%. And here we could have, for example, like a berserk effect, which increases the damage of the bear boss by 100% or whatever, right? You could even trigger abilities, you could trigger um, any kind of effect. So like he could heal himself, he could stun, anyway, like you can just do um, a lot of things. And this is just, you know, a very cool new mechanic with 1.1. Anyway, going back to species. So this is something I just wanted to show you. And I'm going to show you that in action um, um, just after I'm done with the editor part. Now, after the stats, we also have traits. And this is a much smaller part than stats, but it's very cool also. Um, here, for example, you see that the fire elemental is set to have one trait, and this one means that it's taking 200% damage from cold damage. So modifier by default has, are 100. So for example, if I add a new one here, um, let's say shadow damage, if I don't touch anything here, it's not going to have any effect. It will mean that you just take normal damage from shadow. Now, because this was 200, it means that now this fire elemental uh, species is taking, you know, 100% extra damage from cold. So any cold damage ability will do that. Now, if I focus the frost elemental, you see that it's taking an extra 100% damage from fire damage. So already you see that you can now in RPG Builder, really connect your damage type. For example, fire on nature or all kind of things like uh, lightning on water or like, you know, all these things you can now easily do. And you can also, of course, um, push this even further with the stat part, right? So for example, in this case, um, the fire elemental takes more damage from cold, but it takes less damage from fire because it has 50 fire resistance. Anyway, I want to show you this a bit in game, enough about the editor. So here I'm in game, right? And I have this scene set up where I have the um, training dummy, which is just a normal NPC with no um, species attached to it. Just, just, you know, normal training dummy with a bunch of health. We have a fire dummy and a frost dummy. Now, 
quickly just before I show you that, um, I want to show you those NPCs in the editor. So here we have the fire dummy NPC. And you see that it's just a normal NPC, etc. But it has the fire elemental species attached to it. And the frost dummy has the frost elemental species attached to it. That's all. Now, let's go back to um, play mode. So if I shoot um, my fireball to the training dummy, you see that it's doing around 35, yeah, around 35 damage, right? If I now shoot it to the um, frost dummy, you see that it's doing 73 because the frost dummy is taking 100% extra damage. If I now shoot the fire dummy, it's taking 17, so half the damage, right? Um, so already you see that um, just by assigning one PC to our NPC, it can have a lot of cool effect, etc. Right now, I'm going to attack him with the uh, Frostbolt, and you see that it's taking a lot more damage. And I'm going to show you the um, Vitality action triggered on Death. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this dummy, and it will explode. And look at our help here, as well as the health of the. Um, for example, I'm going to damage them first, so we can both see their health and they should take damage uh, from the explosion. So we took damage, you saw they triggered a big explosion on death, and this one also took damage. So yeah, that's pretty much um, it for this PC module. It's not like a huge module, but it's really opening up a lot of different um, and new possibilities for you. So yeah, I hope you have fun with that. On top of this, for example, you could have beast, dragon, um, thing like that and your abilities could be for example only possible to use on um, a specific species so if you would have like a tame for a beast um, for example you could only tame like draconic beast or whatever things like that right so that's also something coming anyway i hope you like it thank you for watching and see you in the next video